Don't you still owe me a paper? <laughs> you owe me a paper, young man. No, I don't. Not you? <laughs> um, so my question was that... Um, name, yeah. Oh, my name is Neil. My question was, is in, in the practice of meditation, uh, is there a difference between um, mindfulness and uh, the meditation of the Yoga Sutras? Yes. And then just one more question. Um, the witness that like that is talked about in Buddhist meditation, uh, is there a difference between the witness consciousness and then the seer? Uh, if, for Patanjali, there would be. Yeah. So in, um, in, in Buddhism, there were two. In early Buddhism was dhyana, you know, citta vritti naroda practices. Um, and, there, and there are differences of opinion among scholars uh, as to whether, how far back mindfulness goes. Because I've read some scholars say it goes way back, early days, and others saying it's more recent. But it doesn't matter. Mindfulness, you don't erode her the mind. You're not stilling the mind. You're, you're allowing it to do whatever it wants. And you're just witnessing it. And by witnessing it, you see how f f foolish and fickle and silly it is. And that in itself, just the power of observation, m makes the foolishness evaporate a little bit, right. you, you know. Right. So mindfulness, is there's no attempt to still the mind. Now, in terms of the witnessing consciousness, um, I, I, you, you know, you'd have to, you know, uh, you know, because, of course, Buddhism doesn't accept that there's an Atman underpinning everything. Although they, they do accept consciousness. It's just right. that they, they, yeah. they say consciousness is momentary and interdependent. But anyway, that witness would be the buddhi in Sankhya, not the Atman. The Atman is not doing anything. It's just conscious. So to witness, uh, that actual witness of the mind is the buddhi. It's the higher mind. And so you have in... In you know the Upanishads, you know the, the, that the that the uh, the charioteer is the buddhi, and the mind is the reins. But the Atman is just a passenger; it's not doing anything. So it's providing consciousness, but not it's, there's no cerebral activity or processing. All of that's buddhi. So the higher awareness is buddhi. Um, and and of course, you know, any Chitta Vritti Naroda is buddhi. Because who's neurodering the mind? It's not the Atman. Who's neurodering the mind? It's Buddhi. If you want to use the Patanjali calls it the Neroda Samskara, but what's the Neroda Samskara? It's Buddhi. So different traditions may f use different phraseology, but that's going on in the hi that's the higher mind. So any type of yoga practice, we have to. It's not going on in the Atman. It's going on in the mind. The mind is eliminating itself actually in yoga. The mind is realizing it, that it is the cause of suffering, that it is an imposter. And through jnana, it can know that. Through jnana, it realizes its own external nature. So then it decides, and, and, and it is the cause of suffering with its desires and illusions. So essentially, the mind is neurodering itself. It sounds bizarre, but that's what's happening. Right. So when, so when we say the seer is abiding in its own nature, that's what we're saying? Yeah. Not, the, when the seer abides in it, no, it's not aware of the mind. The, the minute you're witnessing your mind, you're externalized. Consciousness is external. In Svarupa Vastanam, there's no awareness of the mind. It's Svarupa, Svar, its own Rupa of Vastanam, situated in itself. There's no awareness of the mind. You're not being mindful. That's, that's earlier stages. But we, of course, we can't skip those stages. But ultimately, that state of pure consciousness is just is, is contentless. There's no content. So that's Nirguna. It's Nirguna. Sarvavyapaka, it's infinite, it's all pervading potentially. And Vedanta will say it's Ananda, otherwise, who's going to do it? If you don't throw in Ananda, if you just say Sat Chit, where it is, and it's conscious, I don't, you know, who's going to sign off on that? You know, go to the forest for 50 years just for Sat and Chit? I'll be Sat and Chit right here, thank you very much. <laughs> so you have to throw in it some Ananda there, otherwise, who, who would seek it? So, um, yeah. So are consciousness and Atman the same thing? Yes. In other words, if we try to find the, the Siya, the best translation for Drashtra, because that's the term that's used, Drashtra and Drisha, is but pure consciousness. And it gets confusing because you, often consciousness is used in Western philosophy to mean consciousness of something. So it helps if you add pure consciousness. And by pure, we mean not mixed with anything else, not mixed with an object. If there's an object and, and consciousness becomes conscious of the object, it's now mixing with the object, and so now it's aware of it. 
So if you use the word pure, it means it's not like pure milk. It's not mixed with anything. It's just pure milk. So, um, so, so better to say pure consciousness, to be very clear about how you... There's no word in, in Western language. Because there's no, there's no history of that notion. And maybe in some mystical traditions, but even then, there's no clear history of, uh, of that. You know, so there's no real vocabulary. So then we have to sort of, then we have to create terms like pure consciousness. Right. So then in that case... In, uh, and which is, the, by the way, which is near Bija Samadhi, Asampragnata Samadhi, Kevalya, within the sutras as, uh, as Svarupe Vastanam. These four phrases are all uh, synonymous in the Yoga Sutras. So in that case, consciousness is not a, a byproduct of the brain? No, it's not an epiphenomenon of the brain. In other words... It is not an, a neuron. Yoga would say you will never find the neurological correlate of consciousness. And, you, and right now, the neurological model of consciousness is dominant in, is dominant in, you, you study neurology? No. But the neurological model of consciousness is dominant, and, there, and that's the holy grail. You have to find the, sort of the neuron or the combination of neuron or the material brain conditions which you can demonstrate repeat, and, and repeat that this is the origin of consciousness. Yoga will say, keep going. So we'll check back in, we'll check back in, we'll check back in 50 years.